Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So this is Thanksgiving week and this is Fergie's kids. They're like wild. This one's very calm. So <laughs> they're running all over you. I'm so sorry. This guy's like wild. Uh, this guy has figured out how to use a doggy door. So we found him outside this morning in the cold. So I wasn't very happy with him. So I think we're gonna move him in the house today with Fergie because he's learned how to use a spring-loaded door and he went outside. So as cold as it is at nights, I'm not gonna run a chance in it. So they're coming back to the house today with Fergie. And uh, she says, well, I'll play if you be easy. She says, oh, I give up. They're not gonna be nice and let me play. These guys, activity level, this is, uh, this will be the last time I sit down in here with them. <laughs> They'll be six weeks old on Friday. And whoever's getting this female, I hope she stays this calm and mellow. She is just, she just, just wants to be somebody's best friend. And this guy is into everything. Both of you are. Yeah, <laughs> both of you are. You're so bad. You want to play tug of war? Yeah, here. Somebody get up. You want to play tug of war with him? Do you want to? No? Oh, so a couple things. We're going to do their weights and their colors and all that. But uh, a couple things about going home and biting and nipping. <clears throat> I had a, a gentleman this morning that called me, and they've had their puppy home two weeks, and approximately two weeks. And uh, he says, well, we're having a problem. And I said, okay, what's wrong? He goes, well, it won't quit chewing on us, and it grabs my pants and it bites my hands. And I said, and what do you do with it? And he goes, I put it in time out. I thought, for real? It doesn't have human feelings. It does not understand what a time out means. And so when the dog gets right back out of time out, comes right back at him again. So time out does not work, people. Um, so if this puppy is gonna come up and bite me, I'm gonna, no bite. I'm gonna pop it in the nose, no bite. I'm serious. See, he knows. And they'll get to where, no, no bite. Puppies play with their mouth and teeth. You can see, nope. They start going after your hands, your pants, you walk by them, it grabs your hand. Those are traits you need to stop the first couple days it's at home. Don't go, oh, but it's so cute. And it's just laying there gently chewing on your hands. Well, it's trying to figure out how hard it can bite you. And uh, so you don't want to tolerate any of that. And it's very easy to stop in the beginning. Timeout is not your best friend. So you just need to get your point across, just like that little nip that he just did on me a little ago, a minute ago. So I have a hole in the top of my hand that's thinking about having a little bit of blood come out of. It doesn't take much with these teeny tiny, tiny needle teeth. Um, they have a, a chewing desire that because they're going to cut all these baby teeth by the time this is what they're going to do to your carpet too. They're going to grab your carpet and jerk on your carpet. So you have to stop all the traits. You got, you know, see it is, it's going to bleed now. Um, you got to set down rules, boundaries, and limitations. Don't let them run your household. So anyway, enough of that. So uh, a couple people have texted me questions or called me on the phone and said, will you confront the questions when you got the videos? So when you get these guys home, um, they're going to, about potty training is what they asked me. I do not potty train anybody. Um, there is no kennel in the world that by the time these puppies go home at eight to nine weeks old can potty train anybody. Um, so it's just not gonna happen. We do teach them, we give them a large enough kennel that they go to the back five foot of it on white paper on a, um, oh, see, she's coming out of her shell. Um, it's an, it, uh, not insulated, it's a waterproof pan, and they go back there to defecate and urinate. So they do know the difference. Dang on, that spot hurts. Um, if you give them a large enough crate and you're not there to let them out, they will go to the back of that crate and go to potty on paper or whatever you put in your kennel. You are too nosy. Come on, get over here. Um, so your repetition is your best friend. Schedule is your best friend. To truthfully trust this puppy in your home without demolishing your carpet and devastating something in your house and having it not urinate or defecate on your carpet, you're looking at eight months old.
to to and to totally trust it from not chewing everything in your home up, you gotta wait till all those teeth are out. And you're looking at anywhere between eight and eight months and 11 months old, usually the teeth are done and they quit chewing so much. But until then, the big, tr the big thing is give them hard things to chew on, um, bully sticks, real bones that are raw, um, anything like that is really good. Where are you going? I know, I see you. So activity level, you can see is starting to build. So if you do not wear this out, you're gonna be in trouble. Don't bite my toes. No, no biting my toes. Um, he said, oh, I'll try it. <laughs> this is why this is the last week I'm sitting in here. No, no. That's the other thing, you can flip him. I flipped his nose. Now see, he come back and he didn't touch it. So you can get it through their head. They are super, super smart. Yes, you're bad. Yes, you are. Um, it doesn't take a lot to get them to understand what you want to do. And um, you just have to be, you have to not treat them like a baby because these are smarter than most first graders. Uh, no, you can't have my list. Um, okay, a couple things out. The other thing I had was somebody asked me about brushes. So these guys are getting close enough to go home uh, that and I know you found everything over there, didn't you? So I have more toys, you want more toys? There's a noisy one, yeah, that one made noise. So the brushes I use are called Safari. That's Safari. Um, I would go to, when you get your booklet, you're gonna get a supply list. I would go to PetEdge.com. PetEdge.com is the largest supplier of brushes I've ever seen. Um, I love the brushes that are flexible. These go over their hip bones, uh, their collar bones, and it doesn't scrape their skin as hard. This is a two-sided brush. This is a softer side. This is a harder side. I can actually take this and I can comb my hair with it, what hair I have. I just got it cut and she cut it way too short. But short hair, long hair, this brush is awesome. This side is like a lot harder. I would not use this on a puppy. And if you have children that want to brush this puppy, do not get them this brush. This is a mom and dad brush. You want to go to Sally's Beauty Supply Shop and buy a boar bristle brush. They're like four bucks. Uh, maybe after COVID they've gone up to five, but they're very, very cheap. It's a nice, uh, solid bristle brush. They can brush that dog all day and it will not hurt their skin. So um, that's just a kind of a touch on brushing. The brushes you buy at the pet store, if you cannot open it and comb through your hair with it, that's exactly what their skin feels like to them when you do that brush. So, okay, that, was, I, that answers my two questions, I hope. So if you have questions and you want something answered, um, you know, whether you're from another litter or this litter, give me a call. I don't mind or should, don't call me. Shoot me a text. Uh, tell me what you'd like me to address on a video. I have blood all over my hands just from that one tooth and it itches. Um, okay. So let's see. Come here. Come here, Henry. You are a pistol. Come here. You are a pistol. Yep. You're a pistol. All right. This is, I, I, Nope. Okay, you moved away before you decide you're gonna quit. Ah, uh, three zero three six three. Nope. Leave me alone. This one has a black, a yeah, black body and yellow collar. I know you're such a bad boy. Know you're such a bad boy. I also don't like to be licked. Vanessa and I hate to be licked. I know how much poop and urine this guy eats. I know how many butts he licks. I don't want him licking my face. No, you can't lick my face. So I'm the same way. If they come up and lick my face, I'll bop him in the nose and say, no lick. And I'm really stern about it. Um, they'll get to where after about a week or so, I can pick them up and go, uh-uh, and they avoid me and they don't lick me. But yeah, even our adults, nobody licks us in the face or on our hands. Stay. Five pounds, come on, stop. He's all right, five pounds, 7.5. Oh, you gonna get on too? Not yet. So it froze at five pounds eight, but I think actually it froze at five, was gonna freeze at five nine. So he's five eight, five nine, somewhere in that ballpark. I don't know, you, you checking it out? You gonna get back in? All right, so this one is neon green collar. This is a male. And there's this neon green. He will go home with that. They have fantastic coats. She came out of her shell well, didn't she? She's like, oh, it's not so bad. No, nope, you cannot chew my microchipper. It's new, leave it alone. It gets used too much. 
for you to chew my chipper. We are four pounds. Nope, stay there. Nope, leave the wipes alone. You're in everything. Get over here. All right, I'm gonna hold you down for a minute. Can I hold you down right there? Oh my golly. <laughs> Stop, okay, I'm gonna turn you towards me. Stop. Well, I can tell you he, that he's four pounds. Four pounds, 5.5. <laughs> what, are you next? Are you next? I know I see you. I know I see you. Yes, I know, you're a sweet girl. You're a sweet girl. But you're probably gonna turn into a demon, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna get just as ornery as they are. So this is the female. Where's my thing? He says, oh, that makes noise. Oh, you gotta hold still. This is 30361. What are you into? Okay, give me my wipes. Oh, I was gonna tell you guys too, and I don't know where it's at, just to refresh it. This is my, do you remember when they're going home? Um, where's the second week? All right, so they're being spayed and neutered on the 8th. They can go home anytime starting on the 10th. Oh, dear, we're gonna piddle. Okay, where's my paper towel? I know I had them. Oh, there they are. Did you, oh yeah. Thank you, you peed right on the edge of the carpet, you little pistol. I know, and this was a brand new piece this morning. Now I gotta clean it. Yep, we changed carpets today. Yes, you did that. Go away, go away. Nope, I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to touch me. You did a bad thing on my carpet. And no, no bite. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> You're so bad. You're so bad. Oh my, he is ornery. <laughs> Get out of here, you little snot. Okay, go away. I'm banging you with the paper towels. All right, come here. You're my victim. No, you've already been a victim. You go away. All right, so anyway. No, get away. It's not your turn. It's not your turn. I'm going to pin you down again in a minute. Stop. No, don't bite. Three pounds, 10.5. Maybe 311 on the button. Okay, no chewing, go away. Um, all right, I'm getting this out of here. So, how, where are we at? 1230. Okay. A um, couple things with these guys too. If you have young kids and toenails are really wicked. I do not like toenails at all. And um, we trim toenails every week. So when you have a puppy that comes swatting at little kids and wants to play, and see, mouths come open when they play because that's what they do. They play with each other with their mouth. They interact with their mouth. No, no. 13. Um, so you got to stop. I know. No, no. Good girl. A boy. Sorry. No, it's a girl. No, it's a boy. You got boy plumbing. Um, the biggest thing is, and I guess the, the most profound statement I can make is whatever you do not want this puppy to do as an adult, do not let it do as a puppy. Uh, you can't let it get away with everything for the first three months and then change your mind and go, oh no, you can't do that anymore. Um, you have to start right off the bat. Even if you think it's cute, oh, you guys are just shredding my carpet, something terrible. If you think it's cute and you're not gonna like it when this puppy weighs 16, 17, 18 pounds, don't let it do it now. Um, and if you're firm with the puppy, once you correct the puppy, don't pet it and say, oh, it's okay. You're rewarding them for what they did. Just do your correction and forget it. Don't pet them. Don't tell them you're sorry. Just walk away. 14. So if mom corrects them here and mom gets really ticked and she bites them, she does not tell them it's okay and she does not baby them after that. So just be firm. Set down rules, boundaries, and limitations and you'll get along great. But if you don't, you're gonna be calling me and I can't help you once you've let him do it so long. So I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I gotta get off of here before we hit 15 and we'll talk to you later.